Hello everyone and welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about PowerPoint Tutorial 3D Lamborghini Urus Animation and Morph Transition Basics. Myself Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. This is going to be the end product of this particular video. We'll see that how we can make an animation for Lamborghini Urus like this. For that purpose, we need to have a 3D model of Lamborghini, its logos and some content from the official website of Lamborghini. So let's see how we can do that. First of all, create your PowerPoint presentation and click on your first slide. After that, I'll remove both of these boxes. And in that, we need a 3D model of Lamborghini Urus. So for that purpose, I'll head to a website and it is called as sketchfab.com. In here, we'll look for Lamborghini Urus. It will provide us with a 3D model and you will get free one and paid one as well. For this video, I'll use a free model. Here it is. I'll just click on it. And if you hover your mouse over it, it will show you that how it's going to look like. After that, if you just scroll down, here you have download button. So just click on this download 3D model button and it will give you different options in terms of downloading it. So I'll just go for the GLB format because it works better in PowerPoint. I'll just click on this download button and this will be downloaded onto my system. Let's just get out of this. And now if I hover over it, it will show us that how it's going to look like. So this is the 3D model and we have every angle covered in this one. So now let's head back to our PowerPoint presentation. And in that, we need to import this model that we have just downloaded. And here we are almost done with the download as well. Here we are. So first of all, go to your insert tab and from here, click on 3D models. Make sure to click on this drop down arrow. From here, go to your disk device option and then go to the directory where you have downloaded your 3D model. Here I have my file, so I'll just double click on it. And this 3D model will be imported into our PowerPoint presentation. Now you can increase its size, you can decrease its size you can reposition it as well. So let's just reposition it into the middle of our slide. And here we also have a white icon with some arrows in it. You can click on it and you can move your mouse in order to move your model into your slide. And not only that, you have another way that you can follow. And that is if you just click on your 3D model and here we have a tab that is called as 3D model. Then here we have different views that we can go for. If you just expand it further, it will show you all the available views that you can use for example this is the one then we have this one and we have many other as well so we are done with the import of our model that we needed for our lamborghini urus now what we need we need to have some logos of this particular product so for that purpose we'll use another website for the logos i'll go to the website that is called as world vector logo this particular website offers different products logos for free so i'll just search for lamborghini urus Let's just hit enter and here we have different icons available or you can say different logos available for Lamborghini. I'll download three of them. This one, this one, and I also want this one. And to download any one of these, just click on it and it will give you an option to download this one. Let's just go back. You can do the same for this one and I'll download this one as well. I'm done with the download of my logos and now we are ready to go. So first of all, let's talk about Morph Transition and how it works. So basically here, if you go into the Transition section, here you have Morph option. If you just click on it, it will apply a transition that will move your object, your text or anything that you have on your slide from one position to another position or from one form to another. But for that purpose, we need to do something first. First of all, I'll duplicate this slide and to duplicate this, either you can right click on it and click on Duplicate Slide or you can press Ctrl D. And this is how it's gonna look like. So now as I'm onto my second slide, if I just click on my 3D model, if I go to its 3D model section and let's go for this particular view. Now, if I just go to transition section and click on morph, this is how it's gonna look like. So this was the previous view and this is the new one. And what morph transition has done, it looks like that it's a kind of video. So let's just click on it again. And this is how it's gonna look like. So you can apply your morph transition not only onto your pictures, you can do that onto your objects, onto your models, onto your text and anything. 
So I hope now that now you have an idea that how morph work. Now let's start with the actual presentation or you can say with the actual animation of our Lamborghini Urus. So first of all, what I'll do, I'll create a new slide in here. So for that purpose, I'll right click on it and I'll click on new slide and I'll move it at the top. Let's remove everything from here. And in this particular slide, I'll import the logos that we have downloaded. So for that, go to your insert section, click on picture option and go to your disk device option. And here we have all of these. I'll select all of three from here. I'll hit enter and here we have everything. For the moment, I'm not going to use this black and white one. So I'll just delete this one and I need these two. This is the first one. So let's resize this one. I'll just resize it and I'll place it into the middle of my slide. Then let's do the same for the second one. Here it is. Let me resize this one a little bit. I'll place it at the top and I'll move this one as well. After that, we need to have the background for our this slide. So for that, let's go to your insert section and go to your shapes and select rectangle from here. So I'll just draw my rectangle anywhere onto my slide because we can adjust its size as per our liking. So I'll make sure that it is onto my slide in terms of its width. And after that, just right click on it and click on send to back and it will be into your background. After that, right click on it and here we have an option that says fill. Just click on it and select the color as per your liking. I'll go with this one. After that, what we need, we need to have this car on this particular scene. So for that, I'll just go to second slide. I'll just copy this model. I'll go back to first slide and I'll paste my car in here and I'll just change its orientation or you can say I'll change its view. So either I can use this particular option that is available in here or I can go for 3D model and then I can select any particular view from here. Let's change its position slightly. I'll make sure that it's in the middle of my slide. And after that, let's have another slide in here. So for that, right click on it and go for your new slide. I'll move it at the top of my screen. I'll remove everything from here. And in that, I'll copy the background and this particular logo. Let's copy this one and let's go to our first slide. I'll paste both of these in here. Let's increase the size in here and now and now I'll change the size of this particular logo as well. First of all, let's select this one and I'll increase its width and I'll make sure to put it into the middle of my slide. And now it looks good. And now as we want to apply more transition on the next slide. So for that purpose, we need to have the second logo and car view in this particular slide as well. So let's go to third slide, copy our car. Let's go back to the first one. Let's paste it in here. I'll resize it and I'll move it outside of my slide. After that, I'll do the same for the logo as well. So let's go to second slide. Let's copy this logo. Let's go back to the first one. Let's paste it in here. I'll just move it on to the right side of my slide. And now I think we are good to go. Now let's go to the second slide. And on that one, go to your transition section and click on morph. And this is how it's going to look like. And this will be the transition onto our first slide. So this is the first one and this will be the second one. Now we are done with the first two and now let's move on to the third one. So for the third one, I do not need these two slides. I'll just remove this one and I'll remove this one as well. So for this one, I'll just right click on it and I'll click on duplicate slide. And now I'll resize both of these logos. It's all up to you if you want to keep both of these or if you want to keep only one. I'll go for the first one only. So I'll just remove the second one. Let's resize our background. I'll keep it on to the left section of my slide. And now I'll move my car as well. So let's have some other view for our car. This time I'll go for this one. I think it looks much better here. I'll change its position. Let's increase the size of our background from here as well. Now let's put some information about Lamborghini in here. So for that purpose, we need a text box. Go to your insert section and here it says text box. I'll just drag it and I'll just draw it onto my slide. After that, in that, we can apply or we can insert any information. So I'll just do that. So this is the text that I have copied from the Lamborghini website. So I'll just make it bold and you can change the font style as well. Here you have a lot of them available. So you can go for anyone as per your liking. I'll go for this one and let me decrease the size of it in here. And this is how it will look like. You can reposition it as well as per your liking. I'm okay with this one. And on this side, we can have its price. So first of all, I'll insert a text box. I'll draw it in here and I'll write in that price starting from and I'll make it bold and I'll increase its size. And down here, I'll have the price. So for that, we need another text box. I'll just click on it. I'll just draw it in here. And in that, I'll write the price. The starting price of this particular car starts from 
two hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. So I'll just do that. And now I'll select my text for the price. Right-click on it and I'll change its color. So for that, I'll make sure it looks something similar to the background. So I'll just select this particular color. Let me increase the text size. So for that, either you can press Control Shift key and your right arrow key, or you can use this particular shortcut. And after that, I'll make it bold. And this is how it looks like. So after this particular slide, this will come. And we need to have more transition on this one as well. So what I'll do, I'll copy everything from here. I'll go back to the previous slide and I'll paste everything in here. And now I'll move everything from this particular slide that I want to have on the next one. So first of all, I'll remove this particular logo. I'll move this particular text, this particular price tag, and I'll also move this particular model for my car. And now we are good. Now let's go to next slide and go to your transition section and click on more. So this is how it's gonna look like. So how cool and how easy it is. So we are done with this third one and let's have another one. So for that, right click on it and click on duplicate slide. But before that, we need to stay on our third slide because we need to have all the content on this particular slide that we want to have onto the fourth one with a more transition. So for the next slide, what I want, I want to have something extra in terms of the feature of this particular car. So what I'll do, I'll go to my fourth slide, I'll make all the changes in this one, and then we'll move ahead. So first of all, we need to change the background. So I'll just move it on the right side. We also need to change the position of our car, and I'll move this text onto the right side as well. I'll remove this particular tag from here, and I'll have a new view for my car. So let's just rotate it, and let's have another view for it. I think this look much better. Now let's have some extra feature of this particular car onto this particular section. So for that purpose, go to your insert section, go to your text box and draw your text box anywhere. So let's go for its speed. So I'll write here speed. I'll place it right here. Then let's go for something else. But before that, we need text box. So I'll just do that. I'll place it in here. Here I'll go for engine. So I'll write here engine. Let's have one more. I'll place it into the middle. Go to your insert section, click on your text box and I'll draw it in here. For the third one, I'll go for cylinders. Now let's align all of these three. So let's make sure that all of these three are aligned. We are done. And now let's copy anyone from here and I'll paste it. I'll drag it downward and here I'll write its speed. So I'll write here 0 60 mph space 3.1 second this is the speed and i think we need to reposition these tags so i'll just move it on the right side let's place it in the middle and now i think we are good to go for the engine i'll paste my text box one more time i'll place it right under it and in that i'll have its value i'll write here turbo v8 and for the cylinders i'll simply paste text box one more time let's place it right here and after that let's have its value so i'll simply write here eight so we are done and now we need to change its color so for that i'll select my text from here right click on it and i'll change the color and go for bold let's do the same for the second one right click on it change the text color and let's go for bold and i'll do the same for the last one as well and this is how it's gonna look like you can change the position and the view for your car as per your liking and here we have some free space available. What we can do here, we can have the Lamborghini logo in here. So for that, I'll go back to the second slide. I'll copy this logo. I'll go back to the fourth one and I'll paste it in here. Let's position it right here. Now it looks much better. Now, as we want to have more transition on this particular slide, it means we need to have all of these things onto the third slide as well. So I'll select everything from here. And now let's go back to the third one and let's paste everything in here. And in here, I'll select everything that I have copied from slide number four, and I'll place it right under the slide number three. Before that, we need to decrease its size so that we can have place. And now I think we are good to go. Now let's go to slide number four and now go to your transition tag and now go to your morph section and just click on it. This is how the slide number four will look like. How cool it is. Now let's go for the last slide and let's conclude our presentation. So for that purpose, what we need, we need to right click on it, go to your duplicate slide and here it is. Let's go to your slide number five and I'll move everything from here. First of all, I'll move my model, 
let's increase the background size and we do not need these things so i'll just remove everything from here in terms of the text so i'll just remove this text this is the logo i'll not remove it let's remove this one and let's remove this model as well and now i'll place my logo into the middle of my slide let's increase its size i'll change its width and height as well let's do the same for this particular logo as well and from here i'll make sure that both of these logos are in the middle of my slide so for that purpose move it on to the right side and you will see we have a red line in here it shows that now it's in the middle of your slide i'll do the same for the second logo as well and here we have the red line now we need to copy both of these from here let's go to your slide number four and let's paste both of these in here now i'll move both of these on to the right side of my screen and this is how it will look like if you go to your slide number five transition and go to your morph option and this will conclude our animation for the lamborghini and now in order to export this particular animation into a video go to your file section and here we have an option that says export just click on it and here you have some options that you can go for i'll go for create a video just click on it and in terms of its resolution you have multiple options you can go for 4k 1080 pixel 720 and 480 i'll go for 1080 after that make sure you go for the option that says don't use recorded timings and narrations and down here we have the time that each slide will take in a video i'll go for two seconds so i'll go for 2.00 it means every slide will stay for two seconds into the video let's go for three after that just click on create video and now go to the directory where you want to save this particular video i'm on to the directory where i want you to go after that i'll just click on the save button and now this particular transition or this particular animation will be saved as video we are done with the conversion of our animation into a video and here it is and now let's play it so here we have the first slide and each slide will take three seconds in our video as we have set the time this is the second transition of morph on our second slide after three seconds it will move towards the third one and it will remain here for three seconds again and then we have the outro of our video that we have exported and that brings me to the end of this particular video. I hope now that you must have enjoyed and you must have learned a lot of new thing by watching this one. If that is the case, do leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.